All right, girls, here is a little tutorial on how to use Wallsworth for you. Um, your primary focus is going to be this online design button right here. So once you log in, remember your login is first name dot last name, password is yearbook. Uh, you are going to click online design. Look, you can see we've already sold four yearbooks. Very good. Very good. All right. So when you click online design, this is where all the editing of the yearbook takes place. And it's going to take you to what is called the ladder because it looks like a ladder, right? This is how our book is laid out. And every single page tells you what is supposed to be on that page. This year's yearbook, of course, like everything, looks a little bit different because it is going to be almost like a diary or a journal, okay? And every single week, we are going to tick these off telling what happened in those weeks. So, you know, right here, we are in the week of September 11th. Um, so we will do this week, next week, right? So after it's happened. So right now, we should be working on pages 18 and 19 because this is our first week for you guys to do this. So we need to be talking about things that were happening last week. So you're going to go scour social media and find pictures and all that types of thing. So let's say I'm going to click this ladder. I just clicked on it. It says previews out of date. That's OK, because we're going to edit spread. You always click edit spread and it brings you up to the page. Now. The first thing and the easiest thing to do is to choose a template. How do you want the information and the content laid out in your book? OK, all you do is click right here on templates and there are a ton of options. I want us to stick in this 180 days category because the more pictures you have, the less text you have to write the easier the spread is to do because honestly, how many of you sit and read every caption all the way through your entire yearbook page? So I would like when you choose a template, just go to 180 days. You can also go to 180 days express and these are pieces of templates, kind of like accents that you could add in. So maybe I liked this and I wanted to put this on. I could drag this over and I could maybe, you know, put August, you know, or September right here because it's the beginning of September and, and talk about, you know, um, how this is our, our first um, week of September. I would really encourage you to try to stick with things that go along with our theme. Uh, you all know that our theme of the yearbook this year is um, the one where everything changed. So it's kind of a frenzy theme um, on the front cover. You know, it's blue. It's got the orange couch from Friends and there's a little Scotty dog sitting on it. It says Glasgow in the Friends font above. So when you look at our colors, when you look over here at colors, you're going to see that these are a lot of those same colors from the cover of our yearbook. And I want to stick with these colors throughout the yearbook. So when you're picking font colors or if you put in uh, maybe you want to put in a shape in the back and you want to put in a color and then you want to layer a picture over top of this. I'm just going to go grab a jank picture from my photo tray. Let's see. We'll say first days. All of these you can see have already been placed in the yearbook. But let's say I wanted to put this one on. I would just drag it on there and it's going to try to fill that. If you don't like that, hit undo. Don't let it touch that. If you want to like do a nice cutesy little overlay, you can make it kind of bigger. Maybe if my mouse will work. Some pictures, if they won't let you resize that big, it's because it's going to distort the picture. You want to make sure you stay out of this butt crack in the middle. You don't want to put a picture there. Um, so you can kind of layer them really nicely and design them that way. So those are some tools that you can use over there. So first things first, you're going to pick a template. OK, if you want to pick one that is a full page template, like if you want to throw this baby on there. And then you've got all these things that you could just fill in. You could take your pictures and literally just dump them in these gray spots. And most of the time they'll fit to snap. And then you just go in and edit the text. OK, um, I'm going to undo this so I can show you guys some ways that you can work around. So that is how you choose your template. Over here, you have text boxes. You can put in text boxes. Uh, you just type up your text. This is text. You can go back, you can um, 
edit your text. Let me close this out here. And now I can see I can choose different text. We've already chosen some fonts that are very like friends-ish. Um, you can change the size um, if you want to be really fancy. Um, like let's make this, let's leave this black. Now watch, I'm going to copy this. Control C maybe. I'm going to get my select tool. I'm going to touch it copy and paste so now i have two right i'm going to make this one up here yellow and then you can take this and put it on top of the other one and it kind of looks like if you get it close like a shadow like that so that is one cool way that you can do headlines and things up at the top of your yearbook page just layering those texts on like that super easy um, a lot of times we make things in Canva because Canva is such a great design program. And so you would just make it in Canva and you can save it and come over here and put it in. So let me show you now how you upload pictures. So I think you guys text, shape tools, you can add in bits of color. You can do cool things with fonts, change the color, change the font, all that type of thing. Okay. To get a picture in the yearbook, now this is the most conundrum spot ever. Okay, first you have to upload a picture. So you're going to hit upload and you're going to choose your picture. Where is your picture located? Well, luckily I have saved on my desktop a little folder of pictures for the yearbook. Okay, uh, not all these for the yearbook. I don't know why my face is in there. So let's say I wanted to add this picture of Chromebook distribution. So I click it and I hit open. <coughs> now you have to choose where you want this to go. I'm going to put this in first days. Let's say if I wanted to add a new category and I really don't want to add a new category, what I would love to have is first days and then an August. Hang on, let me add a new album. I'm going to add one that says August. Well, Lord. <laughs> A-U-G, oh my gosh, new album, A-U-G-U-S-T, there we go, August, and I'm going to save that, and then I'm going to add another new album, and it's going to call September, because our yearbook is going in a chronological order, so when it happens, you would just put it in that album, so now you can see those are available here, Chromebook drop-off did happen in August, so I'm going to put that in August, and I'm going to hit upload, okay, it uploads this photo, it'll tell you right here when it's done, so I'm going to press done. Very good. Now, you're like, okay, great. I uploaded the photo. Where to go? It's in your photo tray. It's like it puts it in a nice little box for you. So you go to your photo tray and you choose the album you put it in. We put it in August and there it is. And so now you could drag that onto your spread. Boom, there it is. Me ready to check out all the Chromebooks in the world to all the people. And then, of course, you would size it. You could put a little caption with it. Hopefully, you're going to have a template and you can just like throw it on like that. Um, but these are how you're going to fill your yearbook pages. You're going to add text. You can use shapes to, to emphasize layering text adding pictures. If you need this video, feel free to go back and watch it again. Um, of course, the first thing that you're going to do is choose your template so that you have a nice layout and know where to put your pictures. Okay. I hope this helps you guys. Um, and that's that.